Hey guys, um, I just wanted to take some time and actually just, like, I don't know, say what's on my mind, mainly. Um, I don't know if you realized it or not, if anyone did, but on the, I think it was the 8th, um, I wasn't really on, uh, YouTube. Like, I didn't really do more than one upload that day. There was a reason why I kind of stayed away for a while, like, for at least a day or so. Because it just seems like, um, parts of my life are kind of, like, um, messed up. Like, beyond repair. Like, I have... Like, personal, like, friendships that with people I've known for, like, my entire life. It feels like they're going down the, tr they're going down the drain. And, um, to, to, to some point, I don't understand why. Because, like, if I go to somebody and ask them, can I talk to you about something? You know, they take it, like, differently than what I meant it. You know, it's like... I feel like venting to somebody is to them saying that I'm crying for help. You know, I don't understand how venting to a friend is crying for help, honestly. I just don't get that. Um, you know, because of a situation like that, I feel like I lost somebody very close to me that I've been friends with since I was young, you know, and... It's a terrible situation. Um, you know, being told, like, I'm throwing friendships away. I didn't throw anybody's friendship away. People have chosen to walk away from me. You know, they have their own choices to make. Everybody does. I can't tell you, you know, to stay in contact with me. I can't force you to talk to me. If you feel that I'm drama which I'm clearly not, but if you feel that I'm drama, then don't talk to me, you know? That's a choice that you have to make for yourself. I can't, like I said, I can't force anybody to do so. I can't force you to stay in my life, and I'm not going to either. Because if I have to force somebody to stay in my life, then obviously it's not worth it. You know, because they're going to feel like... <coughs> You know, they're required to talk to me. And I don't want that. I don't want people feeling like they have to talk to me. And that they have to, you know, tell me what I want to hear. You know, I don't want that. I want real friends that want to be around me. That do enjoy talking to me. And actually will be there if I ever just need to vent. And not take it to the degree that this happened. Because this is why... I've lost friends. This is exactly why. I have lost good friends because I vented to them. And they took it the way they wanted to. They didn't listen to my words. They didn't listen to what I said. They took it at the value they wanted to take it. They basically, basically in their own mind, with their own understanding in here, they twisted what I said and made it sound worse. And I don't understand why people do that. It's like, why did you, like, do that, you know? If you weren't clear on what I was talking about or what I meant, why not ask me instead of, you know, taking it the way you want to take it and then twist it in some degree and make it worse than what it really was? You know, there's people that I was talking to that I was friends with. This is just strictly by phone, even. Some of these people have quit talking to me because of this. Because I don't hear from them. And you know what? I haven't bothered to call them. Because you know what? The last time I did, I'm busy. And they hung up on me. You're too busy? Then fine. I ain't going to waste my time. Because you're a person, obviously, that I don't need in my life. If you're too busy to, like, you know, answer the phone. And if I ask you how you're doing and everything else. If you're too busy for that, then whatever but you know this is just you know some of the things that I've been dealing with and I just don't understand you know nobody nobody can clarify this 
what I'm talking about with these people, you know, only they can answer what what's going on, you know. I'm sorry if some things were said and people misunderstood or they took them wrong. You know, I, I, I can't apologize for, you know, just talking to somebody and them taking it, like, the wrong way. I can't do that. You know, there's no way I can. I just don't know. Um, as far as, like, that, that's... That, that, that subject's pretty much been done now, so. Um, another thing I'm going to tell you guys is because the weather is getting colder and we have not moved yet. Obviously, you can tell I haven't moved because I said I was going to move. Um, my funds did not come through yet, so I have not moved out of this rooming house that I'm living in. So, um, with it being so cold and... Currently, the heater I don't think is on yet. Hasn't been on at all this morning. Um, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of, like, uploading videos and stuff. Because I don't want to be laying down when I'm doing them. I don't think that looks too good. And, you know, right now, with it being so cold, I have to stay, like, under blankets. Just to stay warm enough to where I'm not freezing. Because I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not, but I moved. <clears throat> I moved away from the desert like over a year ago. I moved from Tucson, Arizona to Pennsylvania. And you have to think that's a big change because the weather's out the weather out here during the winter time, it's a whole lot colder here. And I'm still not used to it. I'm getting, you know, adjusted to where if it's really cold, you just bundle up and try to stay as warm as possible, especially if you have to go out and do stuff. <coughs> but am I used to it? Not by any means, not by any stretch. So yeah, that might be a reason why you guys don't see a whole lot of uploads if it's really cold. Like if it's in normal temperature range, yeah, you'll see uploads more often. But if it's really cold, you probably won't, and I apologize. But I know there's no requirement on YouTube where you have to upload every single day anyway. Um, I enjoy doing it. Don't get me wrong. You guys know that. I have a bunch of videos on my channel. I love doing it. Plus my other secondary channel for my smaller videos, I love doing that too. Speaking of which, I have a new one on there that I posted this morning. Um, you guys can go check out that other channel if you want. Because I don't think a lot of people have yet, but I'm just going to give that time. I'm not really worried about my secondary channel. That one's just <clears throat> for the smaller scale videos. People can check it out if they wish to do so. They don't have to, but I'm sure it will get its own traffic in time. You know, everything grows in time. Oh, and, you know, one last thing before I go, too. This has been on my mind, too, and I really have not said anything because I'm kind of keeping it to myself. But I'm going to say this right now. If anybody gets offended because the person I'm with is in some of my videos, don't watch them. If you don't want to see him, you don't want to hear about him, don't watch him then. But I'm going to tell you this right now. He's going to be in my videos He's in my video now, if you look in the corner. My camera is capturing him. He's in the background. You gotta think, we're in a room. And even if we weren't in a room, even if I'm in a house or an apartment, you're still going to hear him. You're, st you're still gonna know he's around. Because, you know what? He doesn't care if I'm recording people. He will still ask me a question. And that's fine. I am not going to get mad at him for that. I might joke around and call him the peanut gallery, but I don't mean anything mean by it. But I'm really tired of people, you know. I kind of like being a purple puppet from Jeff Dunham. <laughs> I, well, like I was going to say, I really get tired of people, you know, saying, you know, don't have him in your videos. Don't, 
don't have him on, you know, blah, 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 stop making videos with him in it. You know, this is not your channel. It's not your choice if you choose to have your significant other in the videos. This is like a, um, oh, what do you call it? This is like a life channel. You know, I feature different things out of my life. And you know what? He's in my life. So, yes, you're going to see him in the, the videos because he's in my life. He's my, he's family. He's my husband. He's my family. You know, of course he's going to be in it. You know, don't sit there and tell me I can't have him in it. I see lots of people do um, video blogs with their family. I am not going to sit there and think any differently for me to do that when other people do it. It's like, don't tell me I can't do those things. That's not right. And for the one millionth time, for those that think that I'm single and available, I'm not. And, you know, it's really ridiculous when I'm telling people you can contact me on kick and stuff. Yes, that is fine if you do. But I only want you to contact me if it has to do with my channel. Do not ask me if I'm single. You know I'm not. Please don't hit on me. You know, I don't want to hear those things. You know, I don't think any married woman or any woman in a relationship wants to hear that. And I've already previously stated this before, but some of you are hard learners. And you know what? If I have to say it a billion more times for you to understand it, so be it. Because I'm not going to, you know, take this with a grain of salt anymore. It's disrespectful. You're stepping on people's toes and it needs to stop. Flat out stop. And for any of my subscribers that had to hear me say this again, I do apologize. But you know what? Some of these people, like I said, are hard learners. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to acknowledge it. They want what they want, and that's all they want. And you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the creepy ones that are here on YouTube, the ones that are weird. The creepy weird ones that don't want to listen. You know, that's all fine and good. You can, be, you can go along and be creepy and weird... But, you know what? Leave me out of your creepy and weirdness because I don't want no part of it, okay? I don't want to be in the center of your creepy, weird behavior. I won't deal with it. And I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm not going to waste my time, you know, trying to understand what you're talking about or where you're coming from when your creepy weirdness has nothing to do with me. You know, it just kind of bugs me out when people are like that. And I've ran into some weird people since I started this channel, you know, and since I'm getting more traffic, I'm running into them and I'm trying to be nice. I'm not trying to tell them off. I'm not trying to be mean, but you know what? You, you guys out there that are like that, you, you tend to take things wrong. You tend to get upset because I tell you something that you don't want to hear. I'm sorry if you don't want to hear it, but I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'll tell you why. I'm not Willy Wonka. I don't sugarcoat. I'll tell you what you don't want to hear, and you're going to get mad. But you know what? You can get happy in the same pants you got mad in. Especially if you're older than me, suck it up. Because you're older than me, you should know better. If you're younger than me, you'll learn. Because I'm not going to deal with that either. Because you know what? There's a lot of guys out there that are in the... Peter Pan, sta Peter Pan stage of life. And if you don't know what that is, you'll figure it out what I mean by Peter Pan syndrome. Because you know what? I ain't going to deal with any of those people that are Peter Pans out there. Sorry, I'm not going to. I don't have to and I won't. Um, anyway... This feels kind of good just to vet everything out because I really, really needed to do something. And you know what? This might be a boring video for you all, and I'm sorry if it is. But you know what? It just needed to be said. And I didn't want to do it on my social media accounts. I didn't want to do it that way. I wanted to do it where I could just talk and I didn't have to type or, you know, ask somebody, hey, can I talk to you? Because nobody really wants to take the time to hear me. So, you know what? This this was a great um, platform for me to just get my thoughts out and get my feelings out. And at the end of the day, I can say, hey, I got it out. Now I can move on. Now I can try to, you know, 
get my life back in order and get it back to as normal as possible without dealing with this anymore. You know, because it's already been said and does not need to be repeated again. You guys know what I'm talking about. Some of you guys have done this before, I'm sure. And I have no idea what he's doing with my computer. What are you doing? <laughs> yep. Oh, you're looking on a you're looking for a email or something? Yep. Oh, okay. Okay. Well anyway, um Yeah. I think I've said what I needed to. Um I again apologize if some of this was not what you wanted to hear, people, but I'm sorry, some of it just needed to be said. You know, we have people that are hard learners out there that just need to learn, you know, how to be appropriate with people. Because you know what? You go through life being scary, weird, and not be, and not respecting people. You're not going to have any friends. You're not going to find anybody either. You know, if you come across as being a needy stalker, nobody wants to talk to you. Because they'll be like, get the hell away from me. Get the hell away from me. I don't want to talk to you. Get the hell away from me. You know, and I tend to do this when somebody is acting like a freaking weirdo because I don't want to be around it. Um, you know, I, I love the nice people I've met here. They're awesome. You know, my subscribers that are all normal, friendly people, I love you guys. I'm glad I met you here. I'm glad that I'm doing the channel because I met all of you because of it. You know, I value each and every single one of you that's my subscriber. You guys are great, you know. But the ones that are not subscribed are the weird, creepy ones. Those are the ones I'm talking about, the weirdos. Um, you know, it's just... I don't want to sound like a broken record. It's just weird. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, guys, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this. I've been yakking for almost 20 minutes. Um, feeling better. And... I like I said as far as the uploads and stuff I will do them when I'll do videos to upload when it's not freezing so um anyway I'm gonna go ahead and go um talk to y'all soon if it's cold in your area stay warm as possible um if you're not a subscriber hit that button below hit the like button uh comment if you want if you would like to hit me up on Kick, you can. Um, I'll put my username in the description box. Um, until next time, stay safe. Tell your family you love them, too. Because, you know, we're not promised tomorrow, guys. So, anyway, see you all soon. Bye.